My guy, these are flyweights. Better gas tanks. And both these guys are stud wrestlers. Well, maybe we'll actually get to see Brian Benavides do some, do some, some more in this fight. We've yeah. only seen him fight once in the rough cage, and it was a very short amount of time we got to see him fight for. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is a 125-pound amateur flyweight bout. Making his way to the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from Porterville, California, and fighting out of Misfits Wrestling Gym, Brian Biscuit Benavides! Brian the Biscuit Benavides flying out of fighting out of Porterville, California, Misfits Wrestling Gym. I've heard he's had good wrestling. I just don't haven't seen it yet. <laughs> but but look at this kid. Look at this energy that this guy comes in with. And I was saying with the with the with the uh, with the personality this guy has, this guy should do pro wrestling. This guy, look at the energy that this guy has coming in right here. This guy is exciting to yep. watch. At only 21 years old, he is only 21 years old, and he's already amassed a 4-1 record. Again, coming off a huge knockout victory in his last fight against A.J. Reese. That's a nice feather in his cap to be introduced to Arizona MMA he against made, a stud like A.J. He made a very good first impression on everybody here. Now look, this guy is intense. Every time I talk to this man, I say, hey, Biscuit. How you doing? Wrestling. And, and I, I, like, that seems to be the only thing that comes out of his mouth, and it's like, when are we gonna and see his it? opponent making his way to the cage, fighting out of the MMA lab, King Deonni Romero! Deonni King Marrero. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, but training out of the MMA lab here in Phoenix, Arizona. And a very stark contrast in energy. You look how calm he is as he walks out compared to Biscuit. Much more intense, much higher energy level. A very, very contrast in energy right here. But Donnie, the King Marrero, there, you know, fighting out of the MMA lab. Look at his corner right there. He's got, he got John Crouch in his corner there. Ooh, I'm excited. Batista, Casey. I'm excited I mean, for this fight. Look, and we know his training partners, right? We know that the lab has a, a the a best wealth. guys in the world. The best guys in the some of the best guys in the world train out of the MMA lab. All right, now look. He said he's focused on his mental control. He said he's he, in camp. The focus was to pace himself and not get too excited. They worked a lot on his ground game because they know that Biscuit has a, an extent, a, a ground game. They know that this kid likes to wrestle, right? So they worked on the wrestling in the BJJ. He said, look, I want to be more aggressive with my hands and make my opponent make the mistakes. He says he doesn't want to counter and wait for him Ladies to come in. Ladies and gentlemen, this 125-pound amateur flyweight matchup is sponsored by BLK Water, infused with Fulvic. A polyphenol containing 77 plus trace minerals, electrolytes, antioxidants, and amino acids. Fighting out of the blue corner, Biscuit Benavides! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, King Dioni Moreno! Huge contrast here in energy. Donnie Marrero. One of these guys is going to fight the champ. One of these guys, and either one will deserve it. Look at the contrast in energy right here. One guy very calm, very stoic. The other guy very intense, high energy. Nick Heiser, our referee. And we are underway, 125 Whoa. pounds. Getting right with it. Now look, Marrero knew that he was going to come out with high, high intensity. That fight started fast. And Marrero said, look, I think I'm stronger than this guy. I think I'm stronger, and I think I'm faster. It's right there in my notes. That's what he said. 
But I think this is where you're gonna see a lot of the fight take place in these uh, clinch wrestling exchanges. There was a little bit of a clash of heads right there. It looked like it might have been a little painful. But I don't think they're feeling anything right now other than each other's embrace. Oh, Good Bene strikes. Benavides with some dirty boxing up against the cage nice right Nice knee on the inside. Both fighters showing their wrestling credentials with their head position. Both See, both fighters are, are, are jockeying here for this head position up against the cage. See, well, and I think... Uh, so right now, Marrero has a head position, but now but, but Benavides is looking for it, too. Well, and Benavides, I mean, he's just such a powerful little guy. These guys are throwing really nice knees on the inside. I really like this clinch position. Nice I like the body work. Oh, man, that is nice. I love it when guys go to the body. And he's tagging the same spot over and over. Reaching down for a leg, potentially. Marrero onto it. Good punches there by Benavidez. Good defense there by Marrero using that frame to keep his head away. Well, and we know that he's got power, so I don't know how many of these body strikes that you want to take. Benavides has had him up against the cage this whole round. Benavides is going to win this round just on pressure. Marrero's got to do something to get off this cage for sure. Well, both fighters are scoring with punches, but Benavides is the one pressure. And when, when, the, when the fight is even in that regard, you look at the guy who's putting the pressure. And if Benavides is keeping him against the wall the entire fight, the well, entire Well, and his round, strikes are definitely more effective from this position as well. Both guys are throwing strikes, but Benavides's are definitely mattering more. Well, Benavides in on these legs. Benavides in on these legs. And Marrero defends it with the balance of a ballerina. Oh, and there oh. goes. Oh. There. Could have his back. Oh. Nice exchange. The first time we've seen Benavides in some real trouble. Again, right back to the cage. Benavides and, over the top with those punches. And he's very comfortable with this position. 15 seconds left here in the first round. Knee to the body by Benavides. Oh, it looked like it was went it, a little was low. It, was it to the body? Yeah. Was it to the body? <laughs> I guess I was wrong. I guess it was not to the bunny. <laughs> not to the body. <laughs> Let's see here. We're going to get a replay of it. Oh, no. We're going to get that action there where Marrero almost took his back. Had a little trip there. Great awareness there. We're going to get a replay of that cup shot. I mean, he's got up to five minutes here. There's only a couple seconds left in the fight, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, they, it's like they're going to they're, they're say time in. He's going to rush it in as fast as he can. Right. Oh! Man, he cracked him there. Donnie Marrero did catch him with like five seconds left. And look at Cupman Casey go to work. Benavidez, not a scratch on him, but man, these guys were exchanging there up against the cage. Man, that was dope. The sponsor of this of this fight, you know, what a lucky sponsor these guys are. This fight is sponsored by BLK Water infused with Fuvic, a polyethanol containing 77% trace minerals, electrolytes, antioxidants, and amino acids. We've got it right here. We got it right here. They've been sponsoring the whole event. They've been hooking us up with water. Thank you, BLK Water. I've already had a full bottle today. I know you don't even piss. Your, your body just like absorbs it because it's so good. It really is. Brian the Biscuit Benavides and Donnie King Marrero, round two. Marrero looks a little more intense in this round now. <laughs> well, now he knows what Benavides is going to do. Nice strikes there on the outside. He's got to shuck him off. He's got to get out of this position. This is where Benavidez was winning the fight, was in this position. No mercy. Sweep the leg. Oh, 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 oh. Using the Kimura to defend the single leg. That's good MMA right there. And Benavidez Brian, had him down for a split second. 
But look at the way Marrero's using his lead leg on Benavidez's thigh to block the strikes. He's definitely got to get out of this. This is no good for him. This is no good for him. No, Marrero's got to get off the wall, though. Benavidez can make this fight really ugly, but just keep it on the wall. Benavidez needs to stay here. Benavidez needs, at distance, he is at a, a, a very big disadvantage. Looked like he held up onto the cage to get some more uh, leverage there on that strike. But yeah, Benavidez definitely needs to keep it here. Nice knee for Marrero. Marrero needs to separate. He definitely, man. Man, Benavidez with this pressure. He's gonna turn Marrero. Nice knee. He, he's gonna turn Marrero into a diamond with all this pressure he's putting on him. Drops down for the single. Tries to turn the corner, run the pipe, Good nothing. Good defense oh, by Marrero. body shots, those were nice. That made him let go. Those body shots were enough to make him let go. Both fighters jockeying for that head position. Benavidez with a little advantage in the head position department because he's a little shorter than Marrero. Well, he's also slowed way down in the striking uh, in, in this clinch position. He's Marrero's got to figure out a way to get off this wall. He's, he's, land, he's doing good. He's landing some shots. But when both guys are landing shots like this, it's going to divert to the guy who's putting on the pressure. And Benavidez is the one putting the pressure on. Nice. Nice strong punch there from the clinch. Oh, hammer fist to the thigh there by Benavidez. I like these body shots. Again, they're not nice. Benavidez isn't throwing little, little pot shots. There we go. And Marrero is able to a get trip. up and an inside leg trip takedown. And but Benavi Benavidez is back right on the back clinch to and it. drives him back to the cage. Opposite side of the cage this time, but still right where Benavidez wants to be. He wants to stay in this position because, well, I mean, if, if it's going to win him the fight, why would you change it now? On a single here. Nice strikes from Marrero. Oh, guillotine attempt guillotine by Marrero. Attempt. And that looks good. It that looks, looks tight. He nope. had to let it go. Not enough time. Well, and you don't want to. Oh, driving. Tried to push him through the cage. He tried to drive him through the cage. Donnie Marrero and Brian Benavides is going to go to round three. Thank you again, BLK Water, for sponsoring this fight. We appreciate you. We've I'm telling you this right now. This is probably the first time in Benavides' career that he's actually tired. Oh, replay and a drive Look at this. all the way across oh, the cage man. by Donnie Marrero. But I'll tell you what, we actually got to see some, we're actually getting to see some wrestling from Benavidez. Well, and he's having to use it to neutralize the position against Marrero. And again, I do feel that it is winning him the fight. He could be sitting on a nice lead at 2-0 heading into the third round. But again, with these judges, you never know what they want. Well, both fighters are scoring with shots. Both fighters are being busy scoring with punches. But Benavides has been the one arguably keeping his opponent defensive. He's been keeping Marrero with his back against the cage, and he needs and he knows that he can kind of continue to do that. Donnie Marrero has got to figure out a way to keep this fight off the cage. Round three, Donnie Marrero and Brian Benavides. Overhand right again. Oh, beautiful combination for Marrero. And he can use this choke position to kind of get him out of this position. He's not going to get it. He needs to start defending the takedown. Wow, that went so hard they took out the corner. Well, they'll have to dress that in between fights. It's from all that pressure. Man, Brian Benavides has just been on him like a condom this entire fight, not giving him any space at all. They're trying he's, to hit a switch there. He's been in almost, Let go of the cage there. almost constant physical contact with him the entire time. Donnie Marrero just hasn't, he hasn't taken too much damage, but he hasn't figured, he hasn't figured out a way to get, get the biscuit off of him. Well, he's also not taking very many risks. Every time he gets him in the guillotine, 
He doesn't throw it up. He's throwing knees, he's throwing good strikes here in the clinch. I just feel that he needs, he needs to separate. I really do. And again, Benavides just needs to keep doing the same thing. Benavides Halfway through the third round. Head position by Benavides. Every time Benavides gets his head position. Nice knees from Marrero. But then Benavides grabs it. Halfway through this third round. And Good Marrero strike from Marrero to the body. Might have hurt him there. Might have hurt him there. Good strikes here for Marrero. Man, Benavides has got to be tired. It takes a oh. lot. It takes a lot to push a guy up against the wall this for almost 10 minutes. I mean, he has been nonstop. Less than a minute left to determine the next number one contender for Trenton Byers. Nice knee again for Marrero. Nice by Donnie Marrero. Benavides looks to take the back. Marrero's got to get off the wall. He's almost got his hands clasped. Oh, nice turn by Donnie Marrero, but Biscuit is just still on him. 30 seconds left. Man. This is such a frustrating <laughs> What an incredible <laughs> force Benavides is. Nice shoulder strike. Oh, 10 seconds nice left. duck under, and Benavides' is back is on the cage. <laughs> Got a throw here, got a throw. Seconds left. They look like they were dancing. Which essentially is what they were doing. Great, great fight. Chenton Byers. I think he's got his, uh, his hands full, regardless of who wins this one. Here we go with the replay. Look at big punches from Marrero. Almost Marrero. takes the back. And then the nice trip. Great awareness, like I said earlier. Kick. That's some good stuff right there. But look, this story, the story of this fight was the pressure of Benavidez. Now it looked like towards, you know, the second and third round, definitely a lot of the strikes were being thrown by Diani. But will it be enough, or is the pressure going to be enough to give Benavidez the nod? Well, the fight in every aspect was relatively even, with the exception of the fact that Donnie Marrero's back was against the cage for, like, roughly 90% of the fight. And I think that if I, if, you know, I think if I was a judge, that if, if you're looking for something, if you're looking for a factor, you know, where, where when all other aspects of the fight are pretty even, you know, you look at who is being more defensive. And Donnie Marrero had his back against the wall for a lot of that fight, and he was trying to get off and couldn't. So, Look I at the think respect these guys show inside the cage. Class acts, both of them. Now, will Marrero keep his perfect record intact, or will Benavides go 5-1 and one on his way to his first championship bout? Again, I wouldn't be upset if they had this fight again in a couple years. Dave Velvet has a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Dennis O'Connell scores this bout 29-28. Judge Eric Curcio scores the bout 29-28. And Judge Brad Frank scores the bout 29-28. For your winner by unanimous decision, out of the blue corner, Biscuit Benavides! Now Brian Benavides is gonna be challenging Trenton Byers for our amateur flyweight title. Man, what a fight! You guys having fun out there? <laughs> Woo! That was a banger. Contender fight. Both these guys are warriors. Next up, so first off, Biscuit. 
That was an impressive performance. You came out attacking. You knew this was a contender fight for the flyweight title for Ruff. How do you feel about your performance and the opponent? Man, he's a tough guy. I didn't expect his wrestling to be on point, but hey, you can't expect nothing from nobody. So, hey, I give hella props to that guy. That's a beast. Right on. Our current flyweight champ, Trenton Byers from Bridge City Combat. Welcome, meet your next opponent. Look out for this title fight early spring, February, right here at Celebrity Theater. The rough world flyweight title, Trenton Byers versus Brian Benavidez. And what a fight that will be. It is now official. Brian Biscuit. Ben